upgrading the Tezzeret Cruel Machinist Planeswalker deck. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan. So I've got another Planeswalker deck upgrade video. This time we've got Tezzeret, Cruel Machinist, for Corset 2019. So this is a mono blue deck. Uh, all the Corset 2019s are mono colored. They're Planeswalker deck, and they do some interesting things. The Cruel Machinist deck states Tezzeret uses his ability to manipulate metal to fulfill his dark ambitions. Assemble a host of artifacts and turn them into deadly tools to engineer a cunning victory. And further, the how to play. The artifacts Tezzeret creates are central to his elaborate schemes. Construct an array of artifacts and draw power from them, outpacing your opponent with mana, card advantage, and battlefield control. Weaken your opponent's creatures to give yourself superiority in combat. Tezzeret turns your artifacts into deadly weapons, helping you press your advantage until your superior forces make victory inevitable. So every deck needs a win condition, and this one is about artifacts. So, this video is going to be focused on beginning to intermediate magic players, but if you're an advanced player, you might find something useful. Also, I'm limiting myself to only common and uncommon cards, because obviously if you've got the dough, you'll be able to upgrade any deck to tier 1 status. Let's get started. The deck comes with two Gearsmith Prodigies, a one drop you get a 1-2 creature, Human Artificer, and if you have an artifact in play, you get a plus one plus zero. Okay, we're keeping that. It comes with two Skilled Animators, three mana, you get a 1-3, Human Artificer. When Skilled Animator enters the battlefield, target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness, 5-5, five, five, for as long as you Skilled Animator remains in the battlefield. That's pretty cool, it's going to turn your artifacts into 5-5 five, five stomping creatures. It's so good that I want to add more of these. So instead of the Uncomfortable Chill, I'm going to add another one. Next we've got Exclusion Mage, another 3-drop, it's a 2-2. Two, two. When it enters the battlefield, return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. So it's some good disruption, you get a 2-2, two, two, return a creature to, back to their hand. I want another one. So, the deck comes with 3 Tezzeret Striders. I'm going to remove one so that I can have two of those mages. I'm going to keep two of these Striders. It's a 3-3 artifact, 3-1. If I've got the Tezzeret Planeswalker, just the one from this deck, not the other one, uh, then this creature gets Menace. So that's cool. If I've got the Planeswalker, I've got a 3-1 Menace creature for only three mana. But I'm swapping one out to have two uh, Exclusion Mages. I'm going to keep the Snapping Drake as is. For four mana, you get a 3-2 Flyer. Nothing to sneeze at. There's one Scholar of Stars for four mana, you get a 3-2. And when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Okay, I like that a lot too, I want to draw more cards. So, the deck comes with a mana lith, which I'm like, what? Add one mana of any color. Well, you're running mono blue, you don't need any other color. Yes, it's an artifact to do artifact shenanigans, but I'm taking it out to put in another Scholar of the Stars. I want more card drawing. Speaking of card drawing, Divination for three mana, draw two cards. Nice! Well, I want a full playset of that. So these dwindles, three of them that come with the deck, are out, and instead we're going to have four Divinations. Draw two cards each time you play it. Nice. I'm keeping one with the machine. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among artifacts you control. So draw more cards. It's a rare, it comes with the deck. That's going to pair really well with the pair of Meteor Golems in play. Seven mana, three, three. And um, when it comes into play, uh, destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. So you get uh, some removal, a 3-3, three, 7 three, cost, and then you can play your one with the machine and get 7 cards. 
Well, with so many cards in hand, you're going to want a way to keep them. So, curiously, this deck has 26 lands. I'm going to cut it down to 23. And one of the lands I'm going to cut out is to then put in a Reliquy Tower. You have no maximum hand size. So I want that. I'm only putting one in the deck so far. This is the one that I could think about adding one more to it. Although this is one of the more pricier uncommons. Not so bad. Maybe under two bucks. So I'm putting that in instead of one of the lands. I'm going to take out another land and instead add another Exclusion Mage. I think its ability for you to uh, return a creature and opponent controls uh, is very good. So, got one of those. And lastly, one more Island Removed to add one more Scholar of the Stars. If you control an artifact, which you will, you draw a card. And with that tower, you'll be able to keep the cards. So I'm also keeping the two Gearsmith Guardians, 5 mana. It gets plus 2 plus 0 if you control a blue creature, which you will, so this will be a 5-5. Five, five, two of them. I'm keeping both Tezzeret Gate Breakers for 4 mana artifact. Um, when the Gate Breaker enters, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal a blue or artifact card from it, put it into your hand, put the rest at the bottom. Okay, so... The mo these modern Planeswalker decks remove the Tutor card, which helped you go find your Planeswalker. Instead, you look, you're going to look at the top five cards and pick one of them, put it back. Plus another effect here. Uh, five, blue and tap, and sacrifice. Creatures you control can't be blocked this turn. So some cool way to make your creatures unblockable as you amass them. This is one of the exclusive cards, number 289, and you can only find it in this deck. Another card you can only find in this deck, number 287, uh, for 6 mana, the Riddle Master Sphinx, 5-5, five, five, flying. And when it enters, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. So more hand disruption right there. Uh, since it's rare and it only comes in this deck, I'm only including one copy, but here's one I would also double up on if you're able to get another one. On the lower end of the scale over here, for three mana, you get a Sky Scanner, a 1 1 flyer, and then you draw a card. One card for three mana and a flyer, two of them. Nice, keeping those. And again, something like this is going to fuel your, uh, your early play Gearsmith Prodigy. Better yet, turn one, island, summon the Gearsmith. Turn two, second island, summon the Field Creeper. There's two of these in the deck, I'm keeping them both. So then you get a 2-1, and this becomes a 2-2. Two, two. So then you, you're attacking for 4 on turn 3. Now to hold your opponents at bay, I'm going to make this decision right here. Uh, there's a full play set of Pendulum of Patterns, another exclusive card you'll only get in this set, for 2 mana. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. Okay, pretty worthless. There's no life gain going on. And for a huge casting cost of 5, tap and sack, draw a card. And I think it's overcosted, so I'm going to remove them all because instead, I'm replacing them with Disperse. 2 casting cost, instant, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Really disrupt your opponent on their turn. Remove something, it's your turn, they're defenseless. And then, of course, the card to keep is the Planeswalker. Ultimately, you're trying to get here for 6 mana, 4 blue-blue. You get Legendary Planeswalker Tezzeret. Starts with 4 loyalty, plus 1, draw a card. Nice. Reliquy Tower will let me keep all of those cards. For 0, until your next turn, target artifact you control becomes a 5-5 five, five creature in addition to its other types. So that's pretty cool. Turn a lowly uh, field creeper into a 5-5 five, five beater. If you manage to ultimate him, put any number of cards from your hand into the battlefield face down. They're 5-5 five, five artifact creatures. So you've got a bunch of cards in hand from all that card draw. You ultimate Tezzeret, they all become 5-5s. Five, oh, and guess what? On the next turn when they're untapped ready to attack, you sacrifice your Gatebreaker. All of your cards, all of your creatures are unblockable. And that's the win condition. Let's talk sideboard. 
Well, it's a blue deck, so you could put into your sideboard some essence scatters. Instant speed for two mana, counter target creature spell. So just zap their creatures. I have one in the example here, but you want a full play set of four in your sideboard. And then good old cancel for three mana, counter target spell. Any spell, you want a full play set of that in your sideboard. Uh, and then lastly, some more removal here. Water Knot for three mana. Enchant Creature. When it enters, tap the enchanted creature. Then it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. So lock them down. Full play set there. Sideboard of 12 for some more removal. So there you go. That was the upgrade of the Tezzeret Cruel Machinist deck. This is a mono blue planeswalker deck focused on artifacts and disruption. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow, all that good stuff. Share the video. Check me out on Patreon for more content. For as little as a dollar a month, you get some great stuff, more deck techs, exclusive stuff, and a dollar really keeps me going. I think it's worth it. This has been VM Campos. See you on Dominaria.